This is a, exactly the kind of innovative UK business and its workers that the Labour Party will continue to champion when in government. Here in Wakefield, when the mines and manufacturing industries were destroyed, the governments of the day did not do enough to save that industry or rebuild communities and provide good jobs. And we still see that same depressing pattern now in many places around the country. Boarded up shops, closed youth centres and Shursart centres, high streets empty or dominated by high interest, charity or betting shops. Alongside that, jobs are casualised and working lives have become plagued by low pay and insecurity. In Wakefield, people voted overwhelmingly to leave the EU. But that doesn't mean that Brexit is all they care about. Just like people everywhere, they want to live a happy, positive and comfortable life, which they feel they have control over. And under this government, that is almost impossible. While many in the Westminster bubble seem only able to focus on Brexit and the Leave Remain divide, we know that up and down the country, in the real world, there are crucial issues that we must address. Issues like child poverty becoming entrenched in the UK, families depending on food banks becoming the norm, universal credit creating insecurity, poverty and desperation. Issues so extreme that the United Nations said they're not just a disgrace, but a social calamity and an economic disaster. Let's remember that we live in the sixth richest country in the world. And yes, we have a divide between leave and remain, but we also have a divide between many who are struggling every single day and the wealthy who this government really works for. Our mission is to bring people together and to live a social and economic justice. And we need that now more than ever before. But to do that, we need a new government. Not only a government that will have a majority to negotiate the jobs first Brexit deal our country needs, but a democratic socialist government founded on and supported by a movement with direction and purpose. A government who will be dedicated to all of those forgotten communities, driven by an inspirational leader who will be rebuild our country for the many and not the few. Ladies and gentlemen, you know as well as I do, we need a Labour government led by Jeremy Corbyn.